there was so much structure to the training. You kind of had a goal and there was kind of every six months you had to do this, every year you had to get this done and by the end of your BST you have to have achieved X, Y and Z. So I suppose that's what really attracted me to it, the fact that I could see career progression. Along the way you have to tick various boxes in terms of exams, research, research and experience, provided you've met all your milestones along the way, you can progress onto the HST or the higher specialist training and you can ultimately become a, um, a consultant in your field of excellence. There's teaching every morning, different things, different mornings, um, mostly consultant led but sometimes it's the senior registrars um, and it's just kind of tips and things to keep you going to kind of teach you the speciality. You have skills and drills and that kind of teach you about the big emergencies you'd be expected to know, the real core things you have to know um, kind of going into the job. Over the course of the day, you'll be on ward rounds, you'll be in clinic, you could be in theatre, and, and the whole time you're being supervised by your seniors, and they they kind of teach you as they go. And um, so there's learning opportunities everywhere you go. And because you're the BAC, I don't know if they look after you a bit better and they try and teach you a bit more, but um, there's definitely there's definitely a lot of, a lot of senior support. We've all achieved so much, but because everyone else is kind of they've got their medical degree, they've got a little bit of research done. Everyone kind of feels like you haven't got a huge amount done, but put it all down and keep an eye on the website for the crucial dates and uh, apply early.